Honda Racing UK is a busy, busy year. We start the season off assisting HME with the PR launch of the Fireblade at Portimao, running into Andalusia with our roads uh, specific test for the team. Coming back to the UK for the first BSB test at Donington Park, then moving on to Navarra for a test pre-round one at Navarra, rolling into 11 rounds of the British Superbike Championship with Superbike and Supersport. Then we have the roads program with Northwest and the TT running in classes in Supersport, Superstock, Superbike. Big campaign. Over the course of the season, each BSB rider will do over 2,000 laps. That's over 8,000 kilometers. Our roads team will do a further 3,500 kilometers each. So as a team, that's 40,000 kilometers. Consisting of 80 oil changes, over 320 liters of oil, We'll do 20 engine refreshes and we're going to use over 6,500 litres of race fuel. Each BSB rider will make over 24,000 gear changes. Our roads riders will do another 9,000 gear shifts. We're going to do 22 pit stops at the TT. And so far this year, we have machined just over three tonne of aluminium into bespoke parts for our machines. And before we turn the wheel, we have to prepare our machines to hit the ground running. So you remove all the um, obsolete road gear, like indicators, lights, um, a lot of plastic that's under the fairings and stuff like that, and replace that with carbon fairings, carbon seat units, so you, uh, yeah, you're not building up weight. Race fairings, so with a superbike you've got some leeway to make it slightly different from standard. So you can have it like slightly wider, a little bit taller and stuff like that. So you have a specific screen and you, you take advantage of those regulations for a little bit more rider protection and to make it a little bit more slippery as well if you can to, to give you a little bit more top speed. So the standard gearbox ratios uh, tend to be very wide ratios, so like a, a big gap or a big RPM drop between each uh, shift. So we fit uh, a Nova racing gearbox that has neutral at the top. So it's neutral one, two, three, four, five, six, as opposed to a road gearbox, one neutral, second, etc. This avoids the problem of selecting neutral accidentally on the track, and also the ratios are much closer. So once you build RPM out of a corner and shift, the RPM doesn't drop as much and the acceleration is better. The exhaust system is uh, full titanium, is, is much lighter than a standard one because you don't have the catalytic converter in it or anything like that. Because it's a straight through racing system and it's designed specifically by Akrapovic for our bike, it's, uh, yeah, it's massively uh, superior to a standard system in terms of performance and weight saving of course. I'm Colin Peabody from Performance Parts Limited, co-owner and director of the company. We've been the importer for Akrapovic for 25 years. We're heavily involved in promoting the brand through racing and supporting race teams and probably our longest standing partner is Honda UK. We have a three-way relationship really between the Akrapovic factory who do the development, the team and ourselves who provide all the logistics support and we actually provide the material to them directly. You know, anybody who follows racing will know that there's no given number of crashes in a year. Uh, it can be a bad weekend, it can be a good weekend and that rolls out throughout the season. And we need to ensure that Honda Racing have enough spare parts on site so that nobody runs out of anything on a race weekend. You can imagine how it would be if a rider couldn't make the grid because he didn't have a silencer on the bike. One of the things that Akrapovic pride themselves on is they don't rely on any third party manufacturing. They even have their own carbon fibre kilns. Um, they have a titanium foundry, which is a very rare thing to have. Uh, Hydroforming processes to, so they can change the shape and form of any tubes. They do everything in-house. They even make their own fasteners. Uh, racing is a cornerstone of Akrapovic's development anyway, but Honda UK Racing have been a development partner for Akrapovic for over 25 years. In fact, Honda delivered Akrapovic's first world championship with Colin Edwards, and that was a milestone moment for Akrapovic. 
So the data received back from the teams is critical to ongoing development of the products. It feeds into production, further development, and that comes out in production exhausts that are available to all customers. This year we're getting support from uh, STM with, uh, with the clutches. We replaced the standard clutch with an STM slipper clutch. Nowadays, this is essentially to take the, uh, the shock out of the gear shift, particularly on back shifting. And you want a nice controlled close so you can get it back engaged on, on the braking cycle so you can control the engine braking with the ECU. The clutch is a, a lot more robust than the standard clutch. So, you know, for practice starts and things like that, it'll withstand like six in a row if you need to. Um, which is good. Normally, racing clutches can be fragile. The team's been extremely busy. Um, the last couple of months have been hectic, to say the least. We're very nearly ready. The next time you're going to see us is at our road test in Andalusia.